Monday, sixth week after Pentecost, evening meditation, June, July 5th, 2021. Meditations are taken from meditations and readings for every day of the year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of Faith in the Presence of God. In nomen de Patria, Fili, the Spirit du Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God and three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility and render to thee of my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. <clears throat> Saint Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. <clears throat> there is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will virtues to acquire, one heaven to win, act of humility, litany of humility, O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. <clears throat> that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provide that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary of a Virgin. Ave Maria, grazia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nuc nit hora mortis nostrae. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Secret Eret in Principio, Nuc et Semper, and Secula Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, and instruct the hearts of the faithful. By the light of the Holy Ghost, grant that same spirit, that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening Meditation, the practice of the love of Jesus Christ. Charity beareth all things. He that loves Jesus Christ believes all his words. Whoever loves a person believes all that proceeds from the lips of that person. Consequently, the more soul loves Jesus Christ, the more lively and unshaken is her faith. When the good thief beheld our Redeemer, though he had not Though he had done no ill, suffering death upon the cross with such patience, he began at once to love him. Under the influence of this love and of the divine light which then broke upon his soul, he believed that Jesus was truly 
the Son of God, and begged not to be forgotten by him when he should have passed into his kingdom. Faith is the foundation of charity, but faith afterwards receives its perfection from charity. His faith is most perfect whose love of God is most perfect. Charity produces a man not merely the faith of the understanding, but the faith of the will also. Those who believe only with the understanding, but not with the will, as is the case with sinners who are perfectly convinced of the truths of the faith, but do not choose to live according to the divine commandments, such as these have a very weak faith. For had they a more lively belief that the grace of God is a priceless treasure and that sin, because it robs us of this grace, is the worst of evils, they would assuredly change their lives. If then they prefer the miserable creatures of this earth to God, it is because they either do not believe or because their faith is very weak. On the contrary, he believes not only with the understanding, but also with the will, so that he not only believes in God, but has the will to believe in him, the revealer of truth. From the love he has for him and rejoices in so believing, such a one has a perfect faith, and consequently seeks to make his life conformable to the truths he believes. Weakness of faith, however, in those who live in sin, does not spring from the obscurity of faith, for though God, in order to make our faith more meritorious, has veiled the object of faith in darkness and secrecy, he has at the same time given us so clear and convincing evidence of their truth that not to believe them would argue not merely a lack of sense, but sheer madness and impiety. The weakness of the faith of many persons is betraced to their wickedness of living. He who, rather than forego the enjoyment of forbidden pleasures, scorns the divine friendship, would wish there was no law to forbid and no chastisement to punish his sins. On this account he strives to blind himself to the eternal truths of death, judgment, and hell, and of divine justice. And because such subjects strike too much terror into his heart, and are too apt to mix bitterness in this cup of his cup of pleasure, he sets his brain to work to discover proofs which have at least the look of plausibility, and by which he allows himself to be flattered into the persuasion that there is no soul, no God, no hell, in order that he may live and die like the brute beast, without law and without reason. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will, that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triumph God, keep my resolutions and keep them well, for the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me, I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and my holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomine Patria, Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.